Much of the country will still be enjoying their festive break and it appears that the Queen is no exception. The monarch was pictured arriving at church in Sandringham on Sunday, five days after she attended the Christmas Day service alongside members of the royal family. While usually accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh on such occasions it seems that the Queen's husband had remained home today and she was instead accompanied by a female companion. Prince Philip, 97, had also been absent from the Christmas Day service. Mail Online has contacted Buckingham Palace for a comment. However, other family members were on hand to attend the service today including her son Prince Edward who walked alongside his daughter Lady Louise Windsor. Sophie, the Countess of Wessex was also in attendance and looked typically chic in a cream coat and navy blue fedora this morning. Following behind was Princess Anne who looked resplendent in purple and was accompanied by husband Vice Admiral Timothy Lawrence. The Queen brightened up the foggy December morning in a magenta coat and matching hat which was adorned with an ornate floral display. The 92-year-old royal arrived at the St. Mary Magdalene Church, a short walk from Sandringham House, to hordes of well-wishers who had assembled in hope of catching a glimpse of the royals. While both the Sussex and Cambridge families had attended the Christmas Day service earlier this week neither appeared to be present for church today. The Duchess of Cambridge and the Duchess of Sussex were all smiles today as they joined the Queen at church in Sandringham for the Christmas Day service. Kate, 36, and Meghan, 37, were greeted by adoring crowds as they made their way to St. Mary Magdalene Church, a short walk from Sandringham House on the royal family's Norfolk estate. Prince William, 36, and Harry, 34 joined their wives as they put on a united front amid rumors of a rift in mounting tensions between the two couples. It was confirmed earlier this month that the Fab Four were going to spend Christmas Day together despite claims of a falling out. Hundreds of well-wishers turned out to see the royal family, but the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess of Cornwall were missing. Philip and Camilla did not join the rest of the royals as they made the short walk. It is understood the Duke is in good health and will spend the day relaxing privately with his family. Camilla missed an appearance at the Olympia Horse Show the week before due to a heavy cold and was believed to be still recovering from the bug. Behind the lead group strode Peter Phillips holding the hands of his daughters Savannah and Isla, and they were followed by Princess Beatrice and Peter's wife Autumn Phillips. A few meters behind were Princess Eugenie and her husband Jack Brooksbank who smiled at the crowds as they walked towards the church. Towards the back of the group were the Earl and Countess of Wessex with their children, Lady Louise Windsor and Viscount Severn, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence and Zara and Mike Tyndall. The Queen arrived in her state limousine with the Duke of York. During the service the congregation sang traditional carols O Little Town of Bethlehem, Hark! The Herald Angels sing and O Come All Ye Faithful.